to start. Good evening, Jason. All right, I think I'm ready to start. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to my 2021 Advent Calendar Unboxing, day number 21. So, wow, I've been doing this for three weeks now, and there is only a few days left. So that is kind of bittersweet in a way, you know, I can't wait until Christmas, but I'm going to miss all the buildup and all of the excitement in the lead up to Christmas. So that's why it is a little bit bittersweet, but um, my Christmas gift came early this year. Uh, I became affiliate a couple days ago and um, I already have four subs so on my first stream yesterday I got four subs and I'm just so grateful and I really didn't expect that I was gonna get four subs in one day I really truly didn't I thought it would be harder than that um, I thought I'd have to work really hard because I felt like there were some days that I was working for followers and there was even one day that I had negative followers like people unfollowed me, I had no followers on that day and I felt like I wasn't really making any progress. But anyways, all of the trials and tribulations are done. I am affiliate now. I'm coming to you live in 1080, high def, which is a little perk that affiliate status has. So that's kind of nice. And um, another thing that I did yesterday when I was like tweaking all of the settings and going through you know, um, just customizing really was Jason, I'm not sure if you can see, but you have a little pink diamond badge on the side of your name now. And that is um, VIP status. Yes, Jason, you are VIP. You made VIP status. I can hand out 10 VIP badges um, at my current level on Twitch. If I got like more followers and more subs and everything, I think it increases. But as it stands right now, I can hand out 10 VIP badges. And I think that's perfect because my my um, sub goal right now is 10 subs. So basically the first 10 subs who sub to me um, will get a lovely little VIP badge beside their name to feel all all special. So, I think that's a nice little perk. Yeah, nice, eh, Jason? So, um, another thing. Hmm. Another thing that I discovered yesterday when I end the, ended the stream was I think I am completely wrong. I don't think that I have the capability to hand out channel points. Uh, channel points work in a strange way. Um, like you collect channel points by like watching me for an extended period of time, this and that. But um, basically the goals and the custom goals that you can write for channel points is not for me to hand them out. It's for you to redeem them and I can set special custom goals for you to redeem a special um, something special. So um, instead of me being able to hand out channel points for the movie quote calendar, instead what I made was a special channel point goal and I set it to 800 points and it has a little um, character box underneath where you can write something. And basically, um, I think I want to turn it into a question. So if you use 100 or 800 channel points, you can write your very own question in the comment box. And basically, I have to answer it. Now, I mean, within reason, right? Uh, I'm not going to be giving you the last three digits on my credit card or my social insurance number, you know, my address or anything like that. So but feel free to ask, you know, any question within reason. Uh, it's kind of like a truth or dare, I guess, you know, like it, it's like mandatory truth for 800 points. So 
I think that's pretty fun. Apollo 62, greetings, hello. I did play around with a lot of my options. So yeah, subs won't, will not see um, ads anymore. And also my regular viewers who are not subbed to me um, will not have the roll out ads. So it'll just be like, you know, a shorter ad. It won't be like a continuation. Um, so I've done that. And also Apollo 62, do you see this pink diamond badge beside your name? That is actually a VIP status badge that I can hand out. I basically have 10 of these badges that I can hand out. And um, I thought it would be perfect because I'm asking for 10 subs. That's my sub goal currently. I thought it would be perfect to obviously What are you doing? The the noise is like catch it picking up the noise. Uh, sorry about that. Um What was I saying? Oh, so I thought it would be perfect because I have 10 of these VIP badges to hand out. Uh so basically the first two uh 10 subs that sub to me will get a VIP status. So, I think that's pretty neat. That's pretty nifty that you get VIP status uh, if you sub to me for. Now, I don't know if I'll keep it if you unsub. Maybe I will remove it and give it to someone. I don't know, I don't know, because I might get more than 10 subs and then it's not fair. I haven't, I haven't thought that far ahead yet. <laughs> I haven't thought that far yet. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do, but I just know my first 10 subs will get this badge. I'm not sure if it'll be permanent or not. But I just think it's pretty cool. It makes you feel special, right? So everybody likes to feel special. Um, so another thing is I made that goal for the movie quote thing, 800 channel points. So basically you can write whatever question you like in on the goal, like on the uh, little movie quote thing. It doesn't have to be about a movie quote. You can write any question of your choice and basically I'm forced to answer it. Now, like within reason, again, I'm not going to give you my address, I'm not going to give you my social insurance number, you know what I mean, the, my credit card information, nothing like that, obviously, within reason, but you can ask me a question and basically I have to pretty well answer it. It's like a truth or dare, but a truth. And then I also, if you notice, guys, I made, um, I forget what it's called, but it's like a group group goal. And I think I set it to, I can't even remember how to set it to, 10,000 points, I think it was. And uh, I've given, my, given everyone, I think 15 or 16 days to complete it. And basically what it is, it's a group goal. If I get that amount of points in that amount of days, when I take my tree down behind me, because it is a live tree, um, so I can't keep it up all year, obviously. I won't keep it up all year anyway. So it will have to come down because eventually it will dry out and all of the needles will fall out. And I have to put it away. So I have to take all of the ornaments off the tree, off of the top, the middle, everywhere. I have, to, I have two um, strings of lights on there as well. So I have to remove all the lights and basically pack everything away for the year and for the season. So yeah, if I can get um, that amount of channel points all together by X amount of days and I meet that goal, then I will stream it live as I'm taking the tree down. I don't know what else I like. If you guys have any suggestions or ideas of like different goals to make that would be fun and things like that, let me know. And I'm definitely open to um, to suggestions, you know. So, yeah, let me know if you have any um, any suggestions for like uh, channel point goals or you know something like that. Okay. So, day twenty one. Wow, that is crazy. 
So three weeks in, only a few more days to go. That's why I thought I would come on today, not skip any days and open up, you know, whole thing. Although I did eat a lot for dinner, I had um, Syrian food. So I had like Syrian shawarma and I had this um, dessert that I've been really into. Oh, and I had this pizza with, um, I think it's called Zetar or something like that on it. It's like all these herbs, green herbs. I think it's like thyme and sesame seeds. It's really good. And it was on like a flatbread pizza thing. And then for dessert though, my favorite, I don't know if you guys have ever tried this type of dessert, Middle Eastern dessert. It's called Kenefa. And it's kind of like baklava, but it's shredded very, very fine. Almost like a fine vermicelli noodle, but it's a, a pastry, like a filo dough pastry. They shred them very fine, like little needle like hairs. And then there's actually sweet cheese inside. And um, it's like baked. And then there's a sweet syrup that you can like pour on top, like a rose syrup. And um, it's fucking delicious, guys. I love cheese. So to have cheese in the dessert is just like amazing. So good. So definitely recommend Kanefa. Okay. <sighs> Let's get into the wine, guys. Let's open up day 21. My trusty dusty tool over here. Still, it'll serve me well. <laughs> All right, day 21. It's a, it's a fruit explosion today, so a sweeter sparkling wine. And the flavor of the day is peach. Nothing like a nice peach sparkling wine. That's nice. And the color of the bottle is such a beautiful like orange color. It's got that weird asymmetrical shape with a little notch for your hands to like hold it perfectly something on the top here i'm not sure what that sticker means i guess it means it's legit it's authentic What else did I do? Oh, you know what I did as well in, in the settings? So not only am I streaming from 1080, but I changed the latency. I lowered the latency. So meaning I hopefully don't have to wait as long now when someone writes in the chat. I hope there's not that big delay for me for a response. Cause that can be a little bit like, you know, take some time. So yeah, I lowered the latency, so hopefully that helps as well. Okay guys, cheers to 
How many days left? 22, 23, 24. Three days left to Christmas. So cheers to making affiliate status, getting some subscribers already, and also to a couple days left till Christmas. So it's almost coming to an end. Cheers, guys. There's a lot to cheers for. Mmm. Wow. That surprisingly is not that sweet. And you know that taste you get when you have like a peach, like the actual juice, like the nectar of the peach, when you bite into a juicy peach? That's what it tastes like. It tastes almost like that sweet, sour peach flavor. You know what I mean? It's not like an artificial peach flavor. And I don't think it's artificial at all. Let's see. The ingredients. It's natural flavoring. So it's all natural flavoring and you can tell. It really does taste like a peach. It doesn't taste fake whatsoever. That is so good. Wow, this, this advent calendar is surprising me, man. Crazy. Okay. What is going on upstairs? So Apollo 62, you can choose low latency mode as well. Now that I've done that, that's cool. That's cool, yes, because I enabled it. So I guess now it's enabled to you as well? Like you have the option? I didn't know you'd have the option. I thought it was just automatically gonna happen. Cool, and yes, Jason, cheers to the final stretch. I feel better today. I was so tired yesterday. I wasn't even gonna come on, but it had already been two days without coming on. So I was like, oh, I have to. My FN calendars need me. <laughs> but uh, I feel better today. I got more sleep and I did my makeup. I did some winged liner. So. You know a girl can take the world on when she has some winged liner. And yes, not like fuzzy peaches at all. Like real peaches, kind of sour, but good. Okay. Moving on to the cheese, please. <clears throat> Day number 21. Oh, <laughs> that's why. It's on this side. The image of the day is a cute little winter toque with some snow and the cheese. Ooh, yay, it's one of my faves. I know Apollo 62, I don't know, like, Sorry about that. Kind of uh, beyond my control. It's out of my control, you know? But um, the cheese of the day is an Applewood Vintage. And I absolutely love these vintages. Made from West Country Farmhouse Cheddar. And protected designation of origin the vintages though the app it's like a smoky wood cheese though that's so smooth and creamy vintage applewood cheddar oh, like it's a trifecta there's just it's vintage it's smoked it's cheddar it's delicious mm, i lost cheese 
It's a sin. That's a sin, guys. Cheese, huh? Mm hmm. It hurts my ears. Okay. <laughs> what do we have for the chocolate today? So, coming from the Melt London calendar. Day number 21, it's a cute little pink house. Hopefully as well now, Apollo 62, I won't be putting the um, girl cooties. <laughs> yeah, I do, ah, I do have cooties. It's, it's I hope it's not as bad as COVID. <laughs> It starts with a C, right? Cooties, COVID. They're very contagious, you know. You gotta be very careful. I hope you're vaccinated from girl cooties. Right, Viva? Right? Cooties are very, they're very contagious. I don't know about you guys, where you are, and all that jazz, but unfortunately, this is the... What is this? The second or year or the third year in a row? I fucking can't even remember anymore. It's all like a bad dream. Viva, out. Um, I think it's the third year in a row now, yeah, that um, our Christmas, like our Christmas holidays are limited now to people. They have put rules, like the province of Ontario has now put rules where the maximum gathering size for people is 10. 10 people gathering for Christmas. So, I don't know, man. Like, it's crazy to me. It's like never ending. It doesn't seem like it's going to stop. But, uh, I mean, hopefully it does. I mean, most majority of people in Canada, at least, are vaccinated. So, like, I just, I don't know why infection rates are going up again like crazy it seems like the vaccine isn't you know i don't want to talk about make this a covid channel i really don't but i just i'm perplexed i just don't know ah, i just don't know what's going on i'm not a scientist and, and all that so anyways i hope i hope it gets resolved sooner rather than later so we can go back to regular life and we're not having these gathering sizes of 10 Anyways, the chocolate of the day. Looks pretty basic. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. Oh, it's a good one. It's a chocolate covered caramel. that's spiced with little biscuit pieces in it. So it's chewy and crunchy, spicy and chocolate. It just, it has everything in it. It's, it's perfect. Let me get a wipe though. Second year now. Yeah, crazy Apollo 62. I guess it is the second year because it was March 
2020. So after Christmas when everything started, you know? It does feel like an eternity. Feels like a lifetime ago. Like a legit lifetime ago. Pre-COVID, you know? And we're gonna look back when we have kids and stuff and talk when we're old and gray about this like we lived through something crazy you know even though it wasn't that crazy but i'm sure we're going to talk about it like it was You're so kind. I took the puppers today to get some nice winter coats and the really good quality made in Finland. So they're, you know, they're for they're made for cold winter weather. Because these type these breed of dogs um, they don't have a lot of fur. They don't have an undercoat at all. And um, like their whole tummy, their whole tummy is kind of like, um, like hairless. So they get cold outside. Thank you, GDN, BLM. I feel hella classy. I feel hella classy today. Yesterday was hella comfy. Now I'm feeling hella classy. Cheers to that. I'm drinking some peach sparkling wine. Makes me, adds to the class factor, you know? That's right, Apollo 62. They basically have no odor. They're like odorless dogs, even when they get wet. And interestingly enough, they are self-cleaning. So usually in the morning and in a night, like they, they're like a cat. They clean themselves, like their paws and everything. Um, so they really don't even need uh, like to bathe, to have a bath. They pretty well do it themselves. I mean, once in a while, let's say they go to jump into a lake or something or like a stream and they get all muddy and gross. Like, of course I'll throw them in the bath afterward, but, um, yeah, they really don't have like a dog odor at all. And um, yeah, they pretty well clean themselves, which is a nice little added bonus. Now, they are not hypoallergenic though. So they don't have hair, they have fur. It's just very short fur. So they do shed. Um, but it's not so bad because their their fur is very short. So when it sheds, it doesn't really feel like there's much, right? It's a very thin, fine fur. It's not like long, you know, like if there's a dog to lose a hair like this versus a hair like this, of course the longer hair is gonna feel like a lot more, right? I do have knitted sweaters for them, <laughs> so many. And jackets, like, I'll show you the jackets they got today, actually. Little Mimo, I can't drink yet one more year. Oh, and then I'll think about it. Okay, yeah. I mean, no pressure, no pressure. 
And uh, GDN, BLM, yes, I am Canadian. What about yourself? I'm from Toronto, I'm from the Six. So I'm from a big city in Canada. Um, it's pretty close to like an American city, I would say. I think our sister city is uh, Chicago. So I don't know what that means. I guess we're similar to them in a lot of ways. That's what it says on Wikipedia. Can't trust everything you see on Wikipedia anyways, but I think that is our sister city. Anyways, I'll show you their little jackets that they got today. They're so cute. And I have so many sweaters to show you. I'll just show you some sweaters as well. Like here's one little sweater. And because they are like a bird dog, it has a little mallard duck on it. Right? There's just like plain, plain ones. This is a really cute one. It's very Canadian, I think, with a moose on it. And it actually has little antlers, a little antler hood. Sorry, they're a little, I washed them and tried to shrink them a bit in the dryer. And now all the wool is kind of coming off, but that's, that's an easy fix. But anyways, they have little antlers. How cute is that? And um, the jackets though. The jackets that I got today are from this really nice little boutique store called Bone and Biscuit. And um, these jackets are actually from Finland, designed in Finland. So they're really nice, like they've got a little, a little drawstring on the neck. It looks like a like North Face jacket or something like we would wear, guys, like honestly. Um, has a little Finnish flag here. Some air vents as well, a little vent as well for um, if they're wearing a um, harness. So you can, it's buttoned up as well, so you can close it if you like. Like really good quality, man. Like, honestly, there's some other brands out there. Canada Pooch. It looks fashionable, it looks nice, but it's not actually good quality. So, and then, so this is how they put it on. And it wraps around. and clips like this to keep them, you know, nice and snug. So I got a little blue one. And like a salmon pink one for my girl. Same deal with the the little clip around. So, that should keep them warm and cozy this winter. I know the like the wool sweaters are nice in the fall um, but you know like when you're out playing in the snow and you can get wet like I feel like a, a thicker winter jacket material is just better suited for the snow you know I 
Thank you guys. Yes, they do look nice. Like I pretty pretty enthusiastic about them. Can't wait to have a Greyhound one day. Yeah, that would be amazing, Apollo 62. Greyhounds are very fun. And they're fast, right? Like the fastest dog in the world, I guess. There's different sizes of Greyhounds you can get. I was shocked when I, when I met a Greyhound that was like a huge dog, like bigger than mine. Um, but normally when you see like an Italian Greyhound or like a Whippet, they're small, right? So that they come in all different sizes. And GDN, BLM. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Moving on to the second chocolate of the day from the IKEA calendar. Day number 21, guys. Wow. The image of the day looks like a little tea towel and a spoon. That chocolate looks delicious. I think I've had it before. I think it's the, what is it called? Like, cappuccino milk cappuccino or vanilla cappuccino something like that oh no 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 this is an almond vanilla cup almond vanilla cup i don't think i've had this one before actually I love the blue dogs. I like blue and red. I like interesting colored dogs, if that makes sense. Not like a typical black color or, you know, white color. I like those vibrant colored dogs. But I think the main thing is basically when you're adopting a rescue dog, a retired greyhound, make sure that they don't have, you know, too many deep rooted issues and problems. And if they do have baggage, because maybe they were abused or not treated like a pet, um, have patience with them, right? That's the main thing, just have patience because they lived a tough life, right? But I think it's very admir admirable of you to want to take that on and rescue and give a home to a retired Greyhound. Not everyone would do that, you know? That's true. When you when you adopt an adult dog, you won't have to go through the stressful puppy phase. This is true. Like you won't have to potty train them to go outside and all of that. 
but they might they might have some other issues like they might um be scared of crates or cages right or not be very good around large crowds of people because they haven't been exposed to them or something like that you never know with a rescue right because it has it has a history so um some rescues are great though don't get me wrong just some other rescues have not had good living situations and they need a little extra care is all okay <sighs> moving on to the tea hello ash ketchum i am having a nice night tonight good evening and welcome i hope you're having a good night as well it's day 21, so only three more days left of this wonderful advent calendar unboxing. So kind of bittersweet that it's ending, but uh, not to worry. Christmas is around the corner and um, then there's that weird week after Christmas, but before the new year. You know that week where you don't even really know what day it is. You never look at the day. It just feels like it's the same day over and over again where you're eating a lot of like Christmas leftovers and cheese and leftover bottles of wine or whatever you have laying around from Christmas like panettone or uh, stolen and you know what I mean like all these Christmas cookies and desserts that's a weird week I find it's like the twilight zone you know thank you Ash Ketchum I feel it's very Christmassy and it's um, super, super soft cashmere. So it's super nice and soft on the skin. Cookies and brownies, nice. I'm working on eating a Christmas pudding from Fortnum and Mason. And um, I got two bottles of wine today, a bottle of balsamic vinegar the other day and some type of like jam. I don't even know what kind of jam it is the other day as well. So I'm getting random, random presents, but I don't mind. I love presents, so. Paula 62, biggest problem with rescue greyhounds is a lot of them won't go with cats and other small dogs. Yeah, because they get starved before races a lot since they're, ah, uh, sight hounds. They'll go for anything small and will catch it. Yeah, so it's the same with a lot of, so they're a sight hound. Um, the Vishla is a hunting dog as well. And like, I don't trust my boy with anything small, like small birds, uh, squirrels, anything small, even a small dog. I don't know if I really, he might go for it. He has that prey drive. It's like 10 out of 10 prey drive. My girl, on the other hand, I trust her. She like sees a bird sometimes and she doesn't even care. You know, like a squirrel can run by and she's fine. Uh, my boy, on the other hand, like he's a different animal outside. Like he's a wild beast outside. Like he doesn't fuck around. He doesn't even want to be cute and cuddly to his mom. Like if I try to hug him and cuddle him and snuggle with him, he's not having that outside. He's like, leave me alone, mom. There's birds to look at over here. I'm trying to hunt these birds. And he slowly creeps and stalks. And like, he tries to like creep up on them, right? Like he's like, so slow. And like, just creeps up on them. And then when he gets like close enough, he just like tries to just like pounce on them. But he's a little silly because like, he tries to go after like a bird that just flies away, you know? Like he doesn't quite understand that. I don't think he'll ever catch the bird, but it's fun for him, I guess. They hunt by smell nose majority of the time. They use their eyes too, but um, definitely they use their nose more. They're a nose to the ground type of dog. Day number 21. Okay, and the tea of the day is 
Let it snow. It seems to be a lot going on in this tea. I smell nutmeg right off the hop, like a very strong whiff of nutmeg. It smells beautiful. There seems to be like, um, I don't know if this is like white chocolate chips or coconut, shredded coconut. There's pineapple, some type of dried berry in here. There's a lot going on. It smells very Christmassy regardless. Super strong nutmeg scent. Ash Ketchum, six forty nine. Some of them are high end. I will admit, some of them are expensive luxury calendars, and some of them, like this little guy here, oops, he was he was ten dollars at IKEA. So I mean, very affordable, right? Uh, majority of them though are a little more pricey. It's true. But I don't want to be opening up an advent calendar every day for 24 days and not like the contents inside, right? So I do a lot of research and um, even though I may like the company that is, you know, presenting the advent calendar, if I look and I do research and I don't really like what they're presenting that year, then I won't buy it. I'll look around somewhere else and get some, like something from a different company. For example, the Netta Porter Beauty Advent Calendar. Um, it was 350 US dollars, so my most expensive advent calendar I bought this year. But it's up on the same caliber of like Harrods Beauty Advent Calendar and Liberty London Beauty Advent Calendar and um, like all these really expensive ones. But the reason why I purchased it is the contents inside has a value value of over seventeen hundred dollars and um it cost 350. so obviously there's amazing value in that definitely worth every penny that purchasing it um, as long as you like what's inside and i got to like peek like what was inside before i bought it right so i was like okay i like these products i could use these products and put them to good use i won't be wasting any of them so it's definitely worth me purchasing a calendar like that. So yeah, there's a lot of time and effort that goes into it. Um, I usually pur purchase all of my advent calendars in like October because I start opening, the opening them in December 1st, right? So companies are already shipping them out in November. So they put them up for sale and they show what, what they're all about, usually in October. That's when I like, before Halloween is when I start uh, prepping. Yeah, it's crazy. So the last tea of the day is from the Tea and Me blog and it's actually under the tree. So let me grab that. So here is day number 21 from the Tea and Me blog. GDN BLM. Rich's relative, isn't it? Rich's relative. I may be rich to some and I'm definitely poor to, to others, right? I'm not that rich. No, I just, uh, I really like Christmas. I'm just a girl that really likes Christmas. Plus I share the opening on stream. Yep, yeah. and not only that, because these VODs on Twitch will fall off after a couple weeks, um, I'm posting all the videos on YouTube for safe keeps as well. So they will, will forever be on my YouTube channel 
think I have the link, link in my um, channel description. You can see the link there. So yes, um, it's nice memories. I've been collecting advent calendars and doing unboxings for the last like five or six years. So I just, I love it. I feel like it's Christmas like every day this month. So <clears throat> it's very fun. I'm doing what I love. It's a labor of love, guys, a labor of love. Little Mimo, what do I think of 2007? You just checked the YouTube. Nice. Nice, Ash Ketchum. And a girl who likes pinching. This is true, little Mimo. This is true. I don't understand this. What do I think of 2007? I haven't I haven't been opening calendars for that long. Only like five or six years. Not not since 2007. Okay. The tea of the day, it's a small one today. It's actually called Heart Chakra Herbal Tea Blend. Cure Tea's mission is to enable healing through nature and nurture. Aruveda is an ancient holistic healing system based on the con conceit of life energies known as chakras. Our curated chakra blends are based on spiritual energy. Ingredients is organic jasmine pearls. I wonder if they're rare like yesterday's. Organic hawthorn berries and organic rosebuds. This tea is from California. It's teeny tiny, like this is really a sample today. There's not much in there, it's just enough for one cup, I would say. Maybe I can steep it multiple times though. And again, just a re reiteration of the ingredients, the IG, the URL, all that good stuff. And her business card. So there's the plug because all of these teas were sent as samples for free. Um, so it's all about promotion for them. So there was the plug, guys. Little Mimo 2324, thank you. Valid is live. Hello, greetings, Valid is live. And if you take it in there, Valid is live, if you see a little badge beside your name, it's a little pink diamond, and that is a VIP badge that I designated to you and my other three subscribers. So I have four of those badges that I handed out already. And um, basically, I have 10 of these badges that I can designate to people. And since my sub goal is 10, I've set it to 10, um, the first 10 people that sub to me will get this lovely badge, this little um, VIP badge, so you can feel super special. I set that up yesterday in the settings when I was just going through and customizing. So yes, that is the little VIP badge that I'll be handing out to the first 10 subs. Any Lego advent calendars? Um, I have seen there's so many out there actually, but no, I haven't actually purchased any Lego advent calendars um, because I don't really, I'm not really into Lego too, too tough. Uh, it's not really my, my cup of tea. <laughs> so, um, but there are really good ones out there. If you're into Lego, highly recommend There's so much selection and see those built little gifts tree. if i was to build them i would probably put them in a display case like in my office um that'd be really cool for my streaming room you know 
to have them on display there. I think that's a good idea. Maybe there'll be some that go on sale after Christmas. Maybe I should keep my eyes peeled and build one. And first time viewer, Casual Motions, greetings and hello. And I think, um, I think there's a little something going on with Validus Live here, Big Snake. What's going on? Are you cutting some grass there, Validus Live? Oh, but you, I guess maybe it's your first time chat in the chat, Casual Motion. Because I did get a notification, first time chat from viewer, casual motion. But thanks for coming back and actually um, typing something today. That's very nice of you. That's a good sign. That's a good sign, casual motion. Okay. Moving on to the honey advent calendar. This honey cal advent calendar comes all the way from Nova Scotia. And it's going to be day number nine. I open, this is 22, 23, 24. It's perfect. Good. Okay. Day number nine of this honey advent calendar that I had to pull a lot of strings to get but it worked out, so it's all good. The honey of the day is raspberry honey from a little farm. What's it called? Sunny Acres Farm in, oh my God, I don't even know how to pronounce this word. Tata Magush, Nova Scotia. I think that's like a native word. Definitely looks like a native word to me. Like here in Canada, we have some like, depending where you go, there's some really interesting native words, right? It's just because um, where we live, I guess. Sometimes they're hard to pronounce though, right? If you don't know, if you haven't heard it before. Um, so yeah, bottled October 27th. Raspberry Honey from Sunny Acres Farm in Tata Magoosh, Nova Scotia. And again, guys, this is, it's really cool how they make these fruit infused honeys or fruit flavored honeys because there's not actually any like pureed raspberry inside. You can see the honey is a very transluc transluc translucent golden color. What they actually do to make this raspberry honey is all of the bees <clears throat> pollinate raspberry bushes. And they take that pollen from the raspberry bushes back to the hive and, you know, infuse the pollen into the comb. So it tastes like raspberries because that's what they were pollinating and feeding on, right? So yeah that's how it is there's not actually any raspberries in it but it will have a flavor of raspberries which is kind of cool to go this has got to be 21 no yeah so the walnut advent calendar day number 21 and this calendar has some beautiful gold paint making it very sparkly and festive if I do say so myself and I do 
and it is tradition to have the viewers take a sneak peek what's inside first. You ready? Oh, so that's what's inside. Oh, what is this? It looks to be a little wooden heart with flowers painted on it. That looks very European to me, no? Straight out the Swiss Alps. And the banner of the day. Open your heart to fill it with kindness. That's a good one today, guys. That's a good one. Be kind to everyone. You don't know what people are going through, especially during this stressful holiday season. So be kind to everyone you see, guys. Open your heart to some kindness. The light will prevail over the darkness. Pre-rolled ads are disabled for 34 minutes. Why, why are they? I don't know. Casual motion. So this advent calendar, the walnut advent calendar is from Switzerland. Close to Zurich, Zurich, Switzerland. Um, I have one from Ikea, it's a product of Poland. I have one from London, England. The cheese calendar is from the United Kingdom. David's tea is from Canada. AC Perch is from Denmark. The 12 days of honey is from Canada. And popcorn is from the UK. Oh, how I got them. I ordered them. I ordered them through like off the websites or I found one in the grocery store. I found one at Ikea, but majority of them, I bought them all online. And I'm actually opening up two other advent calendars on my Instagram account. I'm very committed casual motion. I made this like a full-time job, I tell you. So I figured that's why I would open them up on Twitch. It's Cause like, honestly, I made this into a job. So. This is the Netta Porter Beauty Advent Calendar. My pride and joy. Day number. Twenty one. It's a big one today, guys. Ooh, what could it be? What could it be? I'm excited. <laughs> Jason, have I used any of these products yet? I'll be honest, no, I haven't. I just put them back in the box. Ooh, 
Um, and in the new year, when I'm taking down all of my Christmas decorations and packing everything away, um, I'll decide which calendars I'm going to keep. Like I'll probably keep this one. Which calendars I'm going to recycle. And then if I have any products that are still inside, I'll take them out and put them away in their homes. Um, it's just such a busy month and I'm opening up 11 calendars a day here and two on Instagram. So 13 calendars a day that I'm just trying to save time and I'm just putting them away and I'll, I'll go through them uh, in a week or two once I start to pack all my Christmas gear away. Okay. The gift of the day is from a great brand that I love and I use often. It's called Tata Harper. And this is the full size purifying cleanser, daily detox treatment. Um, and her products are really great. Made in Vermont, cruelty free, certified vegan, uh, eco certified, all natural. A hundred percent of the ingredients are from natural origin. And 29% of the total ingredients are from organic farming. So all natural, partially organic, um, just really great for your skin, very gentle, you know, not full of chemicals. I feel like the chemicals that people put ingest in their body and put on their skin, uh, it's like an, at an all time high and it can lead to things like, you know, cancers and um, birth defects, like who knows, like um, there's a lot, I don't know if there's a direct correlation with like all the autism that we're seeing um, with like children being born these days and whatnot, but I don't know, it's just sometimes I think it's better to go back to basics and just try to use natural products or as close as you can possibly get. I'm not saying turn into a hipster and stop wearing deodorant and grow your armpit hair like, you know what I mean? Like everything in moderation, but if you can try it and use a natural product over a chemical, why not, right? So. This is good. I love this brand. I use a lot of it, so I will put this to good use. And yes, anyways, the two calendars that I'm opening on Instagram, one of the calendars is a reusable, cute little gnome calendar filled with like edibles and gummies and Japanese candies and all kinds of things that you can just fill with whatever you your little heart desires. The other calendar is um, it's from a company from Amsterdam called Rituals and um, it's also it's super cute guys if you check it out on my Instagram it looks like a snowy village and it has little lights under the homes. So all the little windows of the homes light up. And it, it's really freaking cute, like how they put that together. It's just, um, it's really ingenious what they did, you know? So I love that one. It looks like a, a snowy village and I'm kind of, I'm displaying it um, on one of my tables, so. It's just that damn cute, guys. Let's see something here.
I'm trying to figure out, guys, who I should raid after. Um, I know I yesterday I saw. Who to like see who's online? But now I I can't I don't know where to look. I don't know where to look. There is a there's a way to check who's online out of my friends. Is, is Colin online right now, by any chance? I have to find out how my- f where my friends- Where they are, are online. That's the thing, I- I don't want to raid someone who's offline. I raided him yesterday as well. How do I, um... There should be a way to check. Community, no. I came across it yesterday when I was searching that I can see my friends list. And who's online. Um, and then that, that way, oh, I can see, Colin is online. I think he is. So that is what I will do. You're right, Apollo 62, that's where I found it. But I found another one yesterday, somewhere. Yes, exactly, Apollo 62. So. Um, guys, just to reiterate, <laughs> I'm, an, I'm a fucking dingle hopper. We all know this already. So I thought there was a way to um, award channel points. I was mistaken. Go figure. Go figure, guys. But what I did do was um, you'll see that there's a channel like goal or a channel objective. Um, about like it says something about like uh, it's a, a custom one that I made yesterday about like get all the credit for choosing the movie quote of the day even though you didn't and there's a chat box that you can write in as well for 800 channel points is the cost and if you do choose this um, basically in the chat box uh, you can write any question that you like and that you would like me to answer within reason of course i won't be giving out any personal credit card information or anything like that but um yeah i'm sorry guys i won't be able to hand out any channel points to the winner but i can still give them all the credit for guessing the movie of the day so with all the channels live you follow, then Twitch channel recommends for you, and then below should be all your online friends. I've got recommended ones, yes. I have online, you know what? I don't have that many friends. I only have a few, but what I do have is um, people I follow. There's more people I follow than I have friends. You'll settle for my pin number, yeah? Ah, uh, G wizards. G wizards. Okay. The phone number then. Yeah. Consolation prize, eh? <laughs> okay. Here we go, guys. Day number 21 of this pesky advent calendar movie quotes. What was it yesterday? The Princess Bride and Toy Story. So at least they're fairly newer movies, which isn't bad. Nice 
Thanks, Jason, for contributing 250 channel points towards the takedown of the tree challenge. Because if you think about it, guys, I gotta reach up way up there to those pesky, hard to reach spots to take down those ornaments and those decorations. So, you know. I don't know if I can wear a bikini while I do it. I probably need a hot tub in order to wear a bikini. Wow, Ash Ketchum contributed 790 points. We're getting there. Wow. This could work, guys. I just got a big message that says something like, Whoa, someone else contributed. Oh, you did a thousand points, Jason. Nice. 4K was raised already in one day? You guys are definitely gonna get the goal then. I gave you fucking 16 days to complete it. Shit. You're broke now, but you've only been c collecting points for two days, so. But 4K was raised already? Damn. That's crazy, guys. You're definitely gonna complete your goal then, for sure. I, I set the bar really low, 10,000 points. I, I'm really bad with these things, you know? I don't know. Okay. But let's proceed to the movie quotes. Thing number. Where is it? 21, where are you, buddy? Oh, up here. Okay. Day number 21, and I think if you guys sub, you collect more channel points as well, two times the channel points. So that's pretty good. It's pretty crazy. So the movie quote of the day is a long one, guys. This, this is possibly from the movie, um, Rocky, possibly from the movie Rocky. I don't know which one, but when I read you the quote, you guys, you guys will understand. <laughs> well, unfortunately I can't change the goal now. Once it made me um, like confirm that everything was correct before I did it because it said you cannot alter the goal once you make it. Um, but I'll still do it. I'll, I'll still do it in booty shorts. It's fine. Okay. Here's the quote of the day. You don't understand. I could have had class. I could have been a contender. I could have been somebody instead of a bum, which is what I am. And I feel like it's from the movie Rocky. Again, I'm not sure which Rocky one, two, three, four it is. I'm not completely familiar with the movies, but it just seems like something um, Sylvester Stallone would say with that accent. You know? I could have had class. I could have been a contender. I could have been somebody instead of a bum, which is what I am. Any. You don't know this one. I thought it'd be from the movie Rocky. Maybe I'm um, incorrect. No clue. Ash Ketchum, you're our only hope. Oh, okay, you had to Google it, so I guess it's not Rocky. Damn. 
You're our only hope, Ash Ketchum. You can catch those Pokemon. Can you catch this movie quote? He doesn't know either. Okay. Jason. Drum roll, please. What is it? Old movies from the 50s? What's it called? I better put this away. The dogs are going to eat that. On the waterfront? So it was Toy Story yesterday. And a 1950s movie today. Go figure. Go figure. Hmm. So what should I do with that thing? Like, if you guess a movie quote, of the day you have the option to pay 800 channel points and ask me any question of your your little heart desires should i make that available to everyone or just available to whoever chooses the quote of the day correctly you know what there's only three days left so i'll just make it available to anyone but yeah i have no idea what that movie is neither do i jason Neither do I, but it sounded like something Rocky Sylvester S Stallone would say. On the waterfront. Hmm. Okay, and the popcorn of the day. It's just a nice, simple, basic sea salt. But you know what? Sometimes that's all I want. There's a little bit of just basic popcorn to munch on while I'm sipping my peach wine. Wow, I can't believe you guys, together as a team effort, you raised 4,000 channel points in one day. Valid is live? Not that much longer. I basically opened up all of my calendars of the day because it was on yesterday, so I didn't have to open up two days in one. I just opened day 21. So that's it. I won't be on much longer. Who should I raid? Do you think, should I raid Colin? He is online. Mm. And also, Valid is live. Um, I don't have a Discord. I'd like to set up my own Discord. I do have a Discord that I go on, uh, but it's not mine. And I don't know if I should be adding people to the Discord. Um, it's not my Discord. So I don't want to like step on anyone's toes and add you know a random person onto the discord because it's kind of like a a friends group they all know each other type of thing uh even though talking on a discord and being able to set things up through discord is probably easiest way to do it um so maybe what i'm gonna do okay this is what i'm gonna do valid is live I'm going to bother Colin this week because I know he's off for the holidays, like for Christmas holidays. And I'm going to have him set up a Discord with me, my own personal Discord. And then I'll let him do his thing and that's it, right? Because I know he doesn't want, he helps me far too often anyway. And then um, once I have my own Discord, I will add you to that Discord and then I can share my screen with you. And I hope there's no personal information on that screen, but I don't think there is. I'll share my screen with you and we can go through, you know, all of the settings and you can kind of help me figure out, you know, how I want to set everything up to customize it. If that's okay with you, 
that's what I think I'm going to do. I'm not going to add you to the Discord that I go on because it's not mine to do it. Uh, I will get Colin to create a new, my own Discord and I'll add you on that and then we can communicate on that Discord and set everything up on the settings. What do you think? Sounds good. Good. Sounds good to me too. You're right, I need to make my own Discord. Exactly, I better create my own. I don't want to add anyone on someone else's Discord and then they're going to be asking questions like, who is that? Even though I have uh, Mandem capabilities, I can add people. I have those, they gave me those permissions. Still, I don't want to do that because it's just, you know, not nice, not nice. So I'll get Colin to help me make my own Discord and then I'll add you all on that, whoever wants to come on the Discord. And uh, I'm on Discord a lot, guys, at least like my friend's Discord, I'm on a lot. People are playing games. It's a lot more relaxed, I find, because, you know, when you're on Twitch, you have to worry about what you're saying. Uh, I don't know, it's just a little bit more relaxed when you're playing games on a Discord. If you know what I mean, you know, I don't know. It's fun. I like I like hanging out on Discord. So. I can give roles and stuff to see who is who. That's true. And you know what I think I should get is a, like a moderator, like a mod or something. I don't know. I have a lot of thinking to do. I don't know who to give that role to. It's funny because um, Colin is really... He's Mia Malkova's second sub. It's good. He's been subbing to Mia the second longest out of everybody. And, you know, she trusts him and stuff, right? Because, you know, he's been around for years and years. So she made him mod to her channel. But he got a little crazy with it and he started, like, banning people. Even when they weren't going against the, the terms of service. So they didn't even really deserve it. Maybe they just said something that he didn't like and he banned them. So... <laughs> Mia had to take away his mod role and give it to someone else because he was turning into a bit of a Nazi. So, um, I want to get a mod too. I think it would be good to have. Eventually I might need one when I get like, you know, more people, when I'm, when I'm more popping on the channel. But I have to make sure I give it to somebody. You know, with all this power comes so much responsibility, right? So... Hello, Yikes Factory! Today is going well, thank you. I'm almost done. The stretch gruel reached. Oh, did it! Okay. I don't know how to claim it. Um, let me see here. Let me see. I'm gonna go to my dashboard and claim it somehow. Yes. Okay, I see that. No. I don't want to report the reward redemption. I just want to... Um, I don't know if I have to actually do anything to, like, redeem it. I'm not sure, but I will stretch. It's actually very nice to stretch. <laughs> I needed this. <laughs> I don't know how that works either, Jason, but um, I think I have to redeem it somewhere. I saw yesterday, again, I'm not, <sighs> I'm not 100% certain, but I think I have to be able to, I have to redeem the, um, the goals. I just don't know how to do that. Valid is live. Oh, I don't need to redeem them. They just flow and then expire. Oh, perfect. Okay. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Nice. Thank you, Valid is live, for letting me know. That was a great. Guys, that was a really good goal. I should do more of that. Like, 
excuse me, channel points to stretch. Everybody needs to stretch every once in a while, especially when you're like slumped over, you know, at a, at a screen. People need to stretch more these days. Yeah. Honestly, I was going to play a little bit of um, Pokemon. I was going to jump on Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. But it's getting a little bit late. I started my stream a little bit late today as well. Because I was out um, shopping, getting some some jackets for the little puppers. And um, I don't know. I, I think I'm going to pass on streaming tonight. Uh, the video games. And maybe I'll do it tomorrow. Yeah, maybe tomorrow. Just because it's getting late and I want to be a little quiet. You know, common courtesy and all that jazz. Anyway, sure, Validus Live, I will, I will. And I think I made you a friend on, um, on here as well, so it's easier to kind of get into contact. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hunt down Colin <laughs> and get him to help me with make a Discord. He showed me before how many Discords he's a part of, and he's at the max capacity of discords which is like hundreds he's in a lot of discords so he he has to know how to make one he's gotta know so goodbye validus live toodaloo have a good night okay guys and i'm going you're in the max too how many is that by the way just out of curiosity i think it's a lot Wow. That's nuts. How do you even... You don't have enough time in the day for all those discords. You must have to pick and choose. A hundred. Oh my god. I'm just a member of one. Just a member of one. But I have a good time on it. So I'm pretty sure I'll have a good time on my Discord too. Ah, you use them for emotes. Well, that's another thing I need. We'll talk later, but I would love some custom emotes. If you know, see, I don't even know what your strengths are, like what you're good at. If you're good at emotes, custom emotes and all that stuff. I don't know. I'll have to figure, we'll figure it out. We'll talk, we will talk. Anyways, have a good night, Validus Live. You do, nice. Yes, yeah, sometimes they charge. And um, when I became affiliate, I posted on my Instagram and someone was like, oh, DM this, this, um, this Instagram account and they'll promote you. So I DM'd them, right? And little innocent me, like not knowing, right? So I DM them, I'm like, I would love for you if you could consider me to like post about me, if you could consider me this and that. And then they reply back, they're like, yeah, we charge for a promotion, this and that. All right, I was like, oh, they're like, what package do you want? I'm like, oh, geez. So I feel like there's so many people out there, if they're not streaming on Twitch, they're making money off of like making emotes and promoting and um, making like banners and all this shit, you know? So it's just funny, it's funny to me. Yeah, I think they do. I, I'll get them if they're not too, too expensive. I'm not looking to spend like a lot of money when I'm just starting out because I don't know how far this is gonna take me. Do you know what I mean? So I don't wanna blow a lot of money for no reason, but um, if it's affordable for sure, like I think it's well worth it. 
well worth it. Ah. Very true, very true. All right, guys, so. I will do that. I'm not looking for anything too complex, pretty basic stuff. I don't need, I can probably just deal with the same, the emotes that I have here too. I don't have anything special in mind, you know? But um, yeah, and I should compare prices from different artists. That is true. Definitely. Shop around, right? Be an, an informed consumer. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me on um, my advent calendar unboxing day number 21. <gasps> that would be so cute. Apollo 62. And you know what I want to get to is I, I want to get a puppy cam. I want to set up a webcam because I see so many streamers doing that for their pets. Like a puppy cam like over my dog bed so that when I go AFK, I can cut it to that webcam and they can at least be watching my puppy sleep or something. I think that would be super cute. Yeah. Anyways, bye Apollo 62. Have a good night. Sweet dreams. Goodbye, Jason. Good night, guys. Oh, everybody left. I was about to raid Colin, but there's nobody. Oh, it is. It is. It went straight through. <laughs>